In this talk, I'm going to be looking at uh, Redmine. It's a software tool that can be deployed online that functions as an information radiator. It's a tool that can display all the relevant information about a software project. There's a number of tools that fit this and all or part. Uh, Gyra is one, Track is another, uh, Redmine is a similar sort of tool. And there's a number of functions that I think these sort of tools should have. So we're going to have a look at the major ones in Redmine and why I like it. Okay, so this is the general overview. You can see who are members of the project, a bit of a dashboard look at the bugs outstanding, feature requests, that sort of thing. One of the main features I think that tools such as this should have is the ability to look forward. So what is it that the development team is going to be doing? And that's the roadmap. In the roadmap, we can see a number of versions that are planned. And we can see how far through we are. Like here we see we've got 11 closed, 31 tasks still to do. And so we're about 26% of the way through. And going into it, you get more detail. You can see the features and the bugs and those that have been completed have got a line through it. Another feature that I think that these tools should have is they should integrate well with the version control system. So in Redmine we can click on the repository tab and we can have an overview of the repository layout, the folders and files and so on, and we can also see the revisions, uh, the revision history. Tools such as this should have a bug tracker. Redmine is no exception. Here's some open issues. You can search for them easily up here. Like so. Another feature of uh, Redmine that I really like is the fact that it's integrated. So for example we're looking at this bug 361 that's been fixed. We can see that it was uh, fixed in change set 351. And we can see when this was done. So we can actually go and have a look at 351. We can see the mercurial hash where it was fixed. And we can look at the differences. It gives us an inline diff. Oh, so that's what I did to fix it. Some other features I find useful about Redmine. The integrated wiki. It's just built in. Nice to have. So you can just provide some basic instructions in a very easy way. If you've got a significant software project, you might want to use something a bit tidier. Uh, so this wiki is good for focusing on the production of the software. So maybe it's a bit more technical and you might have a more user-friendly blog site or media wiki or something similar to present your project as a whole. This is a pretty basic wiki. Um, very normal sort of wiki language. But it works. And finally, I really like to be able to look back so you can look forward with the roadmap, you can see current work in progress, you can see the repository, and you can look back, what have we done? And when did we do it? So for example, we can see here on the 9th of October that we closed this bug. We can see the revision in which it was checked in. And we can get back to it that way. So this is really good when you're working in a team. You can just look at the activity and see who's done what and when. Uh, then because of the integrated nature of the tool, you can see uh, what they did. You can look at the diff to see what, they, what code they changed. And if you think there may be issues with that, you can, uh, it brings it to your attention straight away.